Greetings. Are we living just enough for the city? Yes, we are. This is Black Light. We're on a small plantation, but the difference is we uh, are getting paid. Instead of not getting paid, we are getting paid something, but it's little or nothing. Now, the New World Order is moving very, very fast now. They're picking up speed. They're trying to take over the planet and to control the population. And we are going to have to um, cut down on our spending habits. Uh... They're, they want more people to join the armed forces, so they're going to have more private poverty in the cities. Since black people are not producing nothing, they're going to be the ones who, black and brown people, are going to be the ones who join in large numbers to fight this war. To stop Islam, to erase Islam, to eradicate it, and also to get the resources that's over there. So they done, they done upgraded their game and they done picked up the speed. And so what must we do over here? in our neighborhoods to keep your keep the young boys from going to jail because that's the protection right there old 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 cats like me you know uh we not come come together and form no coalition because we some of us done got soft and some of us house niggas, you know, house negroes, and some of us are, you know, field, but the field brothers can't get together. We don't know our enemy. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is going to give us a consensus on who we are fighting. If you don't think so, well, I, I guess you won't be watching this video right here. But those who kind of know, check this out. Assalamu alaikum. We always enjoy listening to what Minister Lani Shabazz have to say because he have education of this world. And one of the main basic education, that is mathematics. He is the professor of mathematics. And there is no civilization that can ever rise up and be honored under no such name as civilization without mathematics. Yes, mathematics as the Allah has taught me his truth and he compared it with Islam. Islam is mathematics and mathematics is Islam. So the two is true, equal true. You can prove it at any time, unlimited time, that mathematics is true. Well, so as we can prove figure for figure, that mathematics is true, then we can prove word for word that Islam is true. That's right. We are very happy to have you here and we don't want to bore you. We want to tell you what that we are going to say and get out of here and go home. Uh, 
Well, we don't have no home right now. We're trying to find our way home. <laughs>
Bible, an old, older revelation of God to the prophets, then a late only one last revelation that has been given to us by the wonderful and the most honored prophet of the past, Muhammad, to whom praise is due well. He will be praised. Because Muhammad is actually the name of God. Yes, sir. I want us to remember that we are living in a time of universal change. Whether you like to go along with the change or not, that's him with you. We're going to come back. After, right after this one and continue this today is Thursday I believe it's the 13th right we're going to come right back with it and uh, we're going to try to try to finish up on the, on, on it's a rather length, lengthy but we're going to keep playing it Every day until we finish up. This is Black Light. Stay tuned up. Stay in tune.